It's exciting to go camping, especially with your loved ones. You have the opportunity to explore the outdoors, channel your inner Bear grills, and to connect with nature. Still, it's typically a safe activity, especially if you've done it before. Michael Schinkel and his son were no strangers to camping. Quite regularly, they'd pack a couple of overnight bags and head out to the secluded post by a river for some fishing and quality time. On their most recent camping trip, however, the pair was in for quite a surprise. Little did they know, this particular adventure would turn out to be very different from all the others. And it was all thanks to one unexpected guest. See, when Michael and his son arrived at their usual camping spot, a curious character was already trouncing around there, a stray cat. Unfortunately, she wasn't exactly in tip-top shape. The cat was rail thin and gaunt, so much so that Michael surmised she had actually been abandoned. Given the way she hovered around them, she was clearly not frightened of humans and probably wanted food. Their new feline friend was nothing if not persistent in her hunt for food, and there was a good reason why. When it came time for Michael and his son to call it a day and retire to their tent, they soon discovered why. While we were in the tent, the cat was climbing on top of it, Michael later wrote online. It reminded me of the scene in Blair Witch Project, except instead of kids laughing, it was a cat meowing. Still, the cat had another surprise in store. Michael and his son gave the stray cat their leftovers, and she disappeared. But hours later, she returned. Now, instead of two eyes staring at me, Michael wrote, I saw eight glowing eyes reflecting the light from my phone. As it turned out, this cat wasn't alone. She had three kittens to look after. Perhaps that's why she had been so aggressive in her hunt for food. Michael's son, meanwhile, fell in love with the kittens at first sight. Needless to say, Michael wrote, I have a new mama cat and three kittens now living on my back porch. Chances are, he didn't expect to come home from camping with a few new additions to the family, but what would Michael do with them all? Surprisingly, Michael chose to keep all four cats. It's been a week now and they love it here, he wrote. And who can blame them? Regular feedings sure beat scaling tents for scraps. There was just one problem with Michael's plan though. After being abandoned, the mama cat and her kittens weren't in the best of health. The kittens needed their vaccinations too. Money in the Schinkel household was short though, and they couldn't afford all the medical care. What could they do? That's when Michael had an idea. He started a GoFundMe fundraiser to try to help these cats start their lives on the right path. Amazingly, the public, obviously touched by the story, donated more than enough money for the cat family's medical care. Soon, the mother cat received medication for worms and the kittens were given vaccinations and flea baths. Michael even had plenty of money left over for neuterings down the road. Unfortunately, the now worm-free mama cat started creating some problems. Michael wrote that after the veterinarian treatments, the mother was very food aggressive, and we decided, after she was fixed, that we would try to adopt her out, since we have a six-month-old baby and two other kids that love to love things. Eventually, a family friend who'd recently lost their pet knew that this mama kitty would fit perfectly in their home. So while it was with very heavy hearts that the shingles gave her away, they knew she was going to a good home. Still, there was one question that remained unanswered. The Shinkles actually already owned a black and white cat named Clown Boy. How would he react to these new interlopers? Surely it would take him a while to adjust to their energy, but would he ever warm up to them? At first, Clown Boy was disinterested. The kittens, on the other hand, quickly adjusted to their new home. They sat in the window and happily soaked up the sun. Compared to life in the outdoors, this home was much better. And the longer the kitten stuck around, the more Clown Boy got used to them. At first, he merely put up with them, but soon he seemed to take them in as his own, giving them thorough cleanings when necessary. Eventually, this old crank found a soft spot for the new kitten brothers in his house. Clown Boy was even comfortable enough to steal the new perch Michael bought for the kittens. It's scary to think what would have become of these kittens if Michael and his son hadn't showed up to the river when they did. Luckily, these cats found the perfect home, all thanks to one serendipitous camping trip.